Hey everyone, I'm Grace and I'm a medical writer and founder and CEO of Write in the Loo. And I also have a BSc Microbiology with Industrial Placement degree from the University of Leeds. And I don't know about you, but when I first started university, I knew that I absolutely loved science, but I didn't want to work in a lab. And so I thought my only option would be to be a teacher to kind of stay within that science field. It turns out five years on, there are a lot more careers available um, that I now know about, which I never did. Uh, so in this video, I want to share 11 really cool science and health careers uh, that you could get into that are outside of the lab. First up, you might like to be a medical writer. So medical writers typically communicate medical health or science information in a variety of different ways to a variety of audiences. Uh, traditionally, medical communications agencies uh, usually have pharma clients and they may medical writers may produce slide decks for congresses, abstracts for publications, or even videos uh, training doctors. I work for a health tech startup, so uh, we're more patient focused. So I typically write scripts for animations, showing children uh, what's going to happen during different procedures, writing information articles for caregivers and parents, and I also dip into other parts of the business, such as marketing. Medical writing itself is a varied role. It, it depends on which company you work for, whether that's within kind of traditional medcoms or maybe a health tech startup or alternative medcoms companies. Um, but it is a really exciting role if you love communicating science and health information. Next up, we've got account manager. Yeah. Account management or client services is also a field within medcoms. And this is a career that involves managing clients, budgets, overseeing different teams, making sure that work is completed on time. So if you still like science and health, but perhaps you're not too keen on the writing side, uh, like with medical writing, then client services or account management could be the right path for you. Next up, we've got user researcher. Now, user researchers work in lots of different industries, not just kind of healthcare or science, but user research roles within this field are on the rise. Now, this is because there's obviously a lot of more health tech startups nowadays who have products or services that they want to test. And that's basically what user research do. They may do desk research and look into papers and pre-existing findings on particular things, but they also do more active research and they may go into school or hospitals or um, meet families in person, carry out focus groups and test and see how the people find the product or the service. So it's a really exciting role if you want to get out and meet new people um, and really get involved in, in science and health and seeing how it can directly impact individuals and families. Next up, we've got genomic associate. Now, this is a relatively new role which has been introduced by the NHS in order to streamline genomic services. So this role you may take on if you're interested in being a genetic counsellor in the future, which involves speaking with families about genetic conditions or anything that they may be predisposed to if they're interested in having a child, for example. So genomics associates support genetic counsellors and clinicians by gathering family history, um, gathering consent from families for different genetic tests and also obtaining pathology and genetic reports. So it's a really exciting role if you want to be in that kind of more hospital environment and you want to interact with different patients and families and individuals and also get experience with clinicians and genetic counsellors. We then got communications and PR associate. So this role basically involves communicating information about your particular company or brand to a wider audience. So this may be updating information to a website or creating videos to showcase this with the idea of creating a positive PR image and reputation. You may communicate with journalists or newspapers or even news outlets and you may produce different materials to showcase your particular brand. And so this is quite a creative role to get involved with with a particular health company. Next up, we've got product manager or project manager. So these roles are similar, but they are are slightly different. So product manager refers to someone who manages a particular product or an offering that a company has, whereas project manager refers to somebody who manages a particular project. They are very similar to client services and account management. These are just kind of more of the terms you may hear when looking into health tech startups, for example. 
We've then got medical affairs associates. So this role varies, but within pharmaceutical companies, it basically involves communicating information about a new medicine or a new drug, usually to a healthcare provider, as they're the ones that are usually going to be purchasing or offering the drug to a patient. Um, so this is kind of more of a commercial role and more of a sales role. You may be interacting with people in person or over the phone or via email. Because it's medical based, it's really important to be communicating the medical and science information about a particular drug and why a particular company should choose to buy it or use it and offer it out to their patients as well. This then leads nicely into marketing associate. So you may like to get involved in marketing for pharmaceutical companies or other healthcare based companies and this is kind of similar to communications in PR. So you may be marketing a particular product for a particular audience and this could be through social media or patient leaflets, online resources such as videos and through a website as well and this usually involves thinking of strategies to communicate something in the best possible way so that people are likely to buy it. Because it's marketing within pharmaceuticals or healthcare as well, you may often be communicating with doctors or hospitals or healthcare settings as they may be the ones that are purchasing the particular product and it's not necessarily the patient uh, in the first case. Next we've got clinical Clinical research associates. Clinical research associates typically work for clinical research organisations or CROs and CROs are involved with pharmaceutical companies and they basically help them run their clinical trials. So they coordinate everything from the research site to the participant. This role is really exciting if you want to be immersed in clinical trials and work with pharmaceutical companies but don't necessarily want to be in the lab testing the product yourself. Another role you might be interested in is junior analyst or just analysts. These roles are offered by a lot of different companies but in this case I'm referring to more sort of consultancy based companies or agencies that work with a big healthcare network. So for example you might work as an analyst as part of a strategic consultancy team or within market access or even data science. You might research different diseases or different drugs or different com competitors and pharmaceutical companies for example. You might put together PowerPoint presentations and help support with workshops is quite a varied role depending on which company you work for and which department. So it's a really exciting role if you're interested more in kind of the strategy side or the access side of pharmaceuticals. Finally, we have pharmacovigilance associate. Pharmacovigilance is firstly a bit of a mouthful to say, um, but it basically just refers to the safety within pharmaceuticals or clinical trials. So if you're quite interested in pharma and producing drugs and testing and clinical trials, then this may be the role for you as obviously safety is incredibly important when it comes to producing a particular product that is going to be used to treat conditions. So it's important that you make sure that the benefits are outweighing the risks and that's just kind of one one tiny part of pharmacovigilance um, but it's an exciting industry to get into if you do have an interest in clinical trials but don't necessarily want to be in the lab testing the products yourself. So there we have it, 11 really exciting careers that are immersed in science and health but not in the lab. I hope you found this video useful and perhaps you've identified a particular career path which, which may be the right one for you. If you would like to discuss your career options further then feel free to book in a coaching session at writeintheloop.com. We also have a range of courses available and we'd love to see more of you. So thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you next time. Bye! First up, you might like to be a medical writer, just like me. Um, CEO of Right in the Loop. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Next up, we've got clinical research associate. No, I just didn't.